the current champion is a minus 165, and she is fighting the former longtime champion, Joanna Trzajic, who is plus 145. Now, Mike, I'm going to throw it to you first. I know you have a major leaning in this fight card, and then likely uh, in this fight, rather. Uh, I probably will end up echoing most of it, but go ahead and take it away for the co-main event of UFC 248. Yeah, I'm super excited about this bout. I mean, both these girls are going to go in there, and they're going to give it their all, and they're going to bang. I mean, uh, Wiley Zhang, I think she's just uh, just stronger. I think she's more vicious. I think that when she has Joanna backed up against the cage, and she unleashes some elbows against Joanna's face, and uh, spins around, does another elbow, or just attacks the body, I just I really think that Wiley Zhang is the just is this more superior fighter at this time she's also a purple belt in brazilian jiu-jitsu so no one even really knows about her ground game joanna isn't even a purple belt in brazilian jiu-jitsu and she's been fighting a long time so i really do like wiley zang in this matchup uh so that's why i'm gonna she's gonna be my bet for this podcast i'm gonna be putting down i believe she's negative 165 now bob right yep so negative 165 i'm gonna put down 1.6 or 1.65 units to win one unit on Wiley Zhang to keep her belt and and be Ann Still versus Joanna. I just don't think Joanna handles damage as well as she used to. This isn't Jessica Andrade where this girl's going to throw one right, uh, one big right haymaker and just attack uh, just straightforward. It's going to be a lot different. It's it's not the same. This is this is a different person, and I really believe that she's going to be the champion for a little while, and she's going to finish uh, Joanna. I agree with just about all that. I don't think Joanna is as good as she used to be. I think she is over the hill. Do I think she's completely washed? No, I, I do not. But I do not think she's the fighter she used to be. I think the losses that she's experienced have definitely taken away from... You don't think it's taken away from her confidence because she's speaking very confidently. But the like the, the fight with Michelle Waterson, if that was prime Joanna, Joanna would have just taken her to the woodshed and gotten a late fight finish she would have put that much damage on it It would look like the jessica penny fight all over again but she didn't she got the win she did she absolutely did but i'm sorry it's she's doesn't have near the output she used to have like mike said she doesn't take the damage as well she shows the damage sooner as well and she's she's been hit so many times. She used to get rocked like once per fight, and then at this point, it's just, it's too much. I love uh, the combination striking of uh, of Whaley, and I do think that's going to add to it. I do think she's going to be the one that's going to be putting the serious volume on Joanna. And if anyone knows that listens to the show, you know I love me some volume, and will lean towards that in a pick all day so i will also have a bet on this fight uh completely telling mike here although i do completely agree with his assessment 